Christy, uh, this was really the first time in international competition that you were expected to win. How did you deal with that uh, additional pressure? Well, I wasn't really thinking of expecting to win. I wanted to come in and skate well in front of a lot of friends and family, and I'm glad I was able to keep it together so well. Was it difficult to stay focused after winning the gold at the Olympics? It was a little tough coming back into the training, but uh, once I realized that the World Championships are only a couple weeks away, I got right back into it and was excited to be here. And here before your home folks, did you seem to draw energy from uh, all the friendly voices in the crowd? Oh, it was. It was wonderful. They were a great crowd, and you know, I hope this championship does a lot for figure skating here in California. Big decision for you coming up, whether to turn professional or not. When will you make the decision? Well, I'm sure uh, that decision will be made soon. I'm not sure whether it'll be before I leave for the U U.S. ISU tour or after. Are you leaning one way or the other? Well, I'm not so sure. I still enjoy performing very much, and it's uh, hard to think of my life without competition right now. All right. Congratulations. Dick, with all those gold medals piling up, she may be too legit to quit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hammer is a resident of uh, Fremont, California, the home uh, base of Christy Yamaguchi. Here are the final standings. The U.S. wins gold and silver, Yamaguchi and Kerrigan. The brilliant 15-year-old Chen Lu takes the bronze, and oh, we're going to be hearing about her in the years to come. Hubert, boy, she'll go home with a big smile to Versailles with fourth place, Swinar, fifth for Canada, Tanya Harding, a disappointing sixth. Stay with us. Girl, Chris, Christy Yamaguchi, the fifth United States lady to win the world title more than once. She joins Tenley Albright, Carol Heiss, Peggy Fleming, and Linda Fradiani. For Nancy Kerrigan, her second place, her silver, the highest ever for her, finishing in major competition. And a piece of history as well, Chen Lu, the first ever in history from her country to win a world or Olympic medal. She takes the bronze. Ladies and gentlemen, the flags of the medalists will now be raised. And now 14,000 fans at the Coliseum rise. That spectacular sight. What must it be like for a champion to look to the far end of the arena and see her flag raised in her honor and the anthem played? Christy Yamaguchi, world champion, joins Viktor Petrenko, the men's champion from Russia, and fellow Russians Mishka Tunik Dmitriev win the pairs. Klimovan Ponomarenko, the ice stance. Your impression, Sandra? Well, reflecting over the week, each Olympic champion came to capture the world championship title here with even more superior performances than they gave at the Olympics, and isn't that wonderful? Something I'll take home from Oakland is that beautiful face of Radka Kovashikova, the 17-year-old pair skater from Czechoslovakia. When she, she's only 17, it was 17 years before she was born the last time that Czechoslovakia won a medal in pair skating. She will team up in her native country. The world championships are in Prague next year, and we'll look for Radka Kovashikova. And maybe Peter Barna, who uh, stumbled in his efforts to win a medal here in the men's competition, but a brilliant performer should he stay as an amateur. That wraps it up. There's your champion again, Christian Yamaguchi, with Nancy Kerrigan winning a silver, and Chen Lu of China, the first ever Chinese athlete to win a world medal.